Hola amigos, it's Seño Blue Mel. I want to share with you my new YouTube channel, Seño Blue Mel. Que chévere. Click on this link to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. But first, let's stay connected. You can reach me through email. You can follow my blog, Español con Seño Blue Mel. You can like my Facebook page, Learn with Seño. I have a Twitter. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Seño Blue Mel. Que chévere. So you can get notifications and not miss any videos I have. So I have this worksheet here that is about matching or tracking. So I'm going to show you how you can turn that into a um, digital worksheet. So I'm going to open a new Google slide presentation and I am going to bring uh, my worksheet here. So I'm going to insert image. So my drive is right here. Okay, so in this activity, they have to, it says write down the correct Spanish article that goes with each word, they match it, each image with, with its correct name. Follow the example given. So there are two ways you could do this. You can download this image. So if you want to make it bigger, make it fit here, you could do that. And then if you can want to change the background, so just to make it more colorful, maybe that color. And then, um, then if you want to insert here the text boxes because you know that they need to write the article here. So we can just go ahead and do that now before we download this as a PNG. Okay, so now I have my boxes where they need to type. This is the example and this arrow will stay there because that's what they need to do. So now I'm going to download this as a PNG. So I'm going to go to here to file, download, PNG. So it downloads it. So now I'm here, I am going to do a new slide, get rid of this. I'm going to right click here, change the background, and then I'm going to choose that image from my computer. It's right there. So now it's right there. So now all I need to do here is just insert the uh, text boxes. So I am going to again insert text box. I don't need to color that because now it's already colored there. This is just for them to type. And then I need to duplicate that. Okay, so now you can assign, the, well, to the kids, but hold on. So the arrow, how are they gonna do that? So if you want, you can give them the arrow here so you can insert one for them if you think they don't know how to insert the arrow but you can just do that we'll go with that one right so the kids would have to like manipulate the arrow to be able to do that if you want you can just give them a few arrows for them and just put them on the bottom here or put them on the side and then just say use the arrows on the side to connect the images so you can do that if you want so just give them the arrows there if you want so they can just drag the arrows and connect and then in here they will just type the article which in this case L and then El Borrador L and so forth so if you want you can just give them that way there's another way to do this activity, and I'm going to show you the other way. So I'm going to open a new slide. I am going to make a few changes here. So the first thing is, this is the, uh, the first, the original slide. So I want them to actually drag the images and put them next to to the right name. So I'm going to um, crop each of these images so they, this will be images and not, um, so they can manipulate it. So the way I'm gonna do that is, 
if you have the snipping tool right here on the bottom, it's a snipping tool that you can, uh, you have in your computer, you can search for it. But if you don't have the snipping tool, you can just, and then right click, and then you can say copy, and then paste, and it gives you another one. Or you can control and click on the image and drag it, and it makes another duplicate. So let's do that one if you want. So I'm going to crop the first image. So I'm going to crop all these images so they can, so the students can drag it. So that's my first one. So there's one. And I need to do the rest for all the other ones. So for the last one, I want to show you the snipping tool that I was telling you because it's easier. So the snipping tool is something that is part of, uh, you can access it if you search your PC. You just put snipping tool and it's, it's an app that should be in your uh, computer. But if not, then you can Google it and install it. But it's called snipping tool. So I actually have a shortcut right here in my in my computer so I am all you do is you just click on it and then you click new and then you select whatever image you want to do want to take so in this case I want to take this one so I just drag it around and then it takes a picture of it and then I am going to file save as and then it's gonna I'm gonna save it right here um, in my computer I'm gonna name it chicas and it's right there now so then if i want to bring that image here i would say insert image upload from computer and it puts it right on my download so it's right there so there's that image okay so now i need to uh, do an image of this this works right here because that's what i want the kids to do so I'm going to take a snipping tool again and I'm going to cut these words here. And I'm going to save that and I'm just going to put list. And the other part of the worksheet that I want to do is make the instructions would be good to have. So I don't have to retype them, but you can retype them if you don't want to do that. So you can go ahead and do that and then save as instructions save and then what else do i need from here i think that's it so now i can go ahead and go into my new page and then upload those uh, insert those those images here so insert image there's my instructions Right here, I actually am going to change the background color because you guys know I love colors. So I'm going to go with yellow. And actually, I'm going to change that color to, let's go with this color so it sticks out and they can see that better. Okay. And then I am going to bring the other images. So I have this and I have the one for the girls. Okay, so I did two. So then those are my instructions. This is what they need to do. And then um, you can, if you want, you can just put the images here, just drag them. I have the other images are here, so I'm gonna bring them to this slide. So I just wanna do it all at once. So you click on it and then hit control and select all the ones you want. So you can just do it all at once. And then cut and then paste it here. And now to separate them, you just unclick and then just drag them anywhere. And then 
we have the example of this one so then I am going to put that one there so they know that's how um, they need to do so then I just need to insert now I need to um, let's see so actually before I insert this I want to download this image without um, the picture so because I want them to I don't want them to mess with this I want that to stay put so I'm going to put this here just for now and then in here I am going to download this so download PNG and now control A to highlight everything and then delete and now I'm going to change background bring that image it's right there so now this is the image the kids cannot mess it up I need to now bring those pictures back here So now the kids can just drag the image and now I need to insert text boxes here so they can write. So insert text box. Okay, so then whenever, then I can get rid of this ones if I, I don't need those. So now the kids will get this. They know they can drag the image now. They won't mess with this. That one stays there and they just drag it and put it there so that's the other way you could do the activity and the kids know what to do thank you for watching this presentation and for your time i hope you learned something new and useful and something that you can add to your teaching and let's stay in touch ciao